Greetings, and welcome to this episode in the series of videos on LiDAR with ArcGIS Pro. This series is brought to you by AmericaView, in partnership with the College of Natural Resources and Environment at Virginia Tech, the Virginia Cooperative Extension, and GeoTED UAS. I'm Cherie Auckland, and I'll be your guide. A profile view provides a 2D vertical view of a specific region in the point cloud, like a slice through the points. Profile view is an essential tool in classifying unassigned points. Begin with a new map scene and add the San Luis Valley last data set as you see here. Let's recall the five classifications for this data set by looking at the properties and last filter. Here are the five classifications, unassigned, ground, low noise, water, and rail. Let's close this window and change the symbology to classification. Then let's change the colors so we can distinguish better between the classes. Notice most of the points appear to be unassigned and ground. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to an area of interest for us, this little grouping of points right here. Let's take a look at a slice of these points of this area to try to determine what those unassigned points are. Go up here, make sure your San Luis Valley dataset is selected and that you see this last dataset layer tab up here and go to the classification tab there. Included in the profile viewing group is the depth of the profile. This depth can be increased or decreased. The depth used depends on the area being viewed. If it's bare ground, the depth can be increased as it's unlikely that the points would be related to anything but ground. However, in forests and urban areas, for example, features can vary greatly even within 10 feet, so the depth may need to be decreased there. Leave this default here. First, let's drop down this arrow and make sure Autocomplete is selected. Now let's just click the Create button. We're going to click once in the scene. We're going to move our mouse in the direction that we want to uh, create a slice for and click at the end of this yellow profile indicator that we see here. It's kind of hard to see because it's small. Now I don't like the, um, the slice that I got, so I'm going to redo that simply by closing this window. I'm going to click on create again and I'm going to create a new slice from here through here. I was looking for a specific example to show you. Okay, so here I have the example that I want to show you. So this is the profile view or slice of the points that we selected. You can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So I'm going to zoom in, I can zoom out, maybe I'll zoom in and I'll focus over here a little bit. You can see lots of red unassigned points in this view. So what feature do you think is represented by this straight row of points that we see up here? What about this cluster of unassigned points that we see over here on the left? And notice too that some unassigned points are intermingled with the ground points down here at the bottom. Let's exit profile viewing and zoom into the area where this profile view was created. So let's just zoom right in. And as we zoom in, we can get an idea of what we might be looking at. That straight row of unassigned points we cut through here, that's um, roof lines for build buildings, and the clusters that we saw on the left side was probably this grouping of trees that we see right here. Let's change the depth to 30 feet and create another profile view down here in this sort of sparse area. So going up here, changing this to 30, I'm going to create a profile view right about here. So from this profile view, it appears that the unassigned points that we see, that those little red spots are above the ground. You might ask, are there also, are these also ground because the ground is not actually level? Or are they just very low vegetation? You may need to consult Google Earth and some other resources. Familiarity with the area of interest is, is essential. So for the rest of the chapter, continue practicing using profile view. Change the depth setting, change the length of the profile, move around the scene, try to identify the things that you see. There are several examples to work through in the text that will help you practice recognizing features in the point cloud like trees and roof lines, water bodies, and buildings. The next four chapters introduce classification schemes and classifying unassigned points, and we'll need these skills to be able to do that.